There is so much happening in our world, and it affects our lives in ways great and small. 8.7 million species of plants and animals exist, but we only know 15 or 20 percent of that. This idea that we are one thing and animals are another thing. 12 or 13 percent of people globally have a neurodevelopmental disorder. People do not really put emphasis on what is going on in their minds. The clothes are worn a few times and then thrown away. It's just not sustainable. It's the future that we're losing. I just wish we could wave our hands and make things better. This could be the cause for our downfall. So what kind of solutions do you think we could propose? Welcome to A Thrivable Life. Hi, I'm Kavya. And I'm Mike. Kavya and I will be your co-hosts as we talk with our special guests about how we can create a world that is not just sustainable, but one that thrives. So today we are talking about greenwashing. What's the impact of last action? We will sell to the community that we have people passing by our house. Those with brighter mind can't break our future. Urban environment that is designed with a strong focus on sustainability. I've been vegetarian most of my life. Human life cannot exist if there are no bees. If most people are going to be living within cities, they need to be made hospitable. We used to the same routine for years on end. It's going to be tough to change things, you know? But with discussions like this one, we can be more informed. You should also look at how is your food being produced. The green city is also something that can be viewed as an opportunity. If they are not able to survive beyond themselves, then there is no chance for their children. Not everybody is necessarily evil and wants to really destroy the planet. It's just convenient. We can make a difference. We just have to take that first step.